The Amazing Monarch Butterfly. Hi, I'm Grandpa Krogstad. Today I want to share some fun facts about the Amazing Monarch Butterfly. This is one of the incredible insects of our world that is featured in I Think I Lost My Little Bug. The Monarch Butterfly is one of my favorite insects. They go through complete metamorphosis. This means that the young insect looks completely different than the adult insects. When the eggs hatch, the larvae, called caterpillars, come out and start to eat the milkweed plant. Both the caterpillar and the adult monarch butterfly are bad tasting or even poisonous to many animals. This is because of a chemical in the milkweed plant that the caterpillars eat. Instead of camouflage, the caterpillars are brightly colored with stripes, so it is easy for animals to stay away from them. After growing for around two weeks, the monarch butterfly caterpillars are ready to change. Unlike moths that spin a cocoon made out of silk, butterfly caterpillars attach to a branch and shed their skin to reveal a chrysalis beneath. The chrysalis is a hard shell-like home for the change to occur. For the monarch butterfly, the chrysalis is bluish green in color. Inside the chrysalis, the remaining parts of the caterpillar are dissolved into a goo that then begins to form the adult butterfly. After about two weeks in the chrysalis, the newly formed butterfly breaks out and shows off its beauty to the world around. Most adult monarch butterflies live only a few weeks, but the last group of adults each year do something absolutely amazing. Starting about the middle of August, monarch butterflies begin the first part of their annual migration to Mexico. Some of these butterflies fly to Mexico from as far north as Canada. This is an incredibly long distance for an insect, in many cases over 2,000 miles. Once they reach Mexico in late October and early November, they completely cover the trees in only a small area of Mexico. So many butterflies land on these trees that you can no longer see many of the branches. These butterflies stay pretty much in one place on the trees with very little movement. They remain still for about four months in a sleep-like diapause. In the middle of March, these butterflies wake up and start flying north again. But they only go as far as northern Mexico and southeastern United States, a much shorter distance than in the fall. The females then lay eggs and the adult butterflies die, usually towards the end of April. These adults can live eight months. This can be eight times longer than any other adult butterflies. After the eggs hatch, the caterpillars grow and turn into adult butterflies. Then the next group continue to migrate farther north. By June, they begin to reach Canada. The next few generations really don't travel very much. When August comes around again, the adults emerging at that time begin the southern portion of their annual migration again. If you think about it, this migration is truly amazing since none of these butterflies have ever made the full round trip, yet they go to many of the same trees in Mexico that monarch butterflies have gone for centuries. How they know when to start their flight and how they know where to go without any other butterfly to lead them is a mystery. I hope you enjoyed learning some facts about the amazing monarch butterfly. For more information about my books and to hear the songs, visit gkbooks.com.